we're going to talk about the dot copy method, but in a larger sense, we're going to talk about modify, modification of a parameter in a function. Okay, so when we write functions in general, let's just write, I'm just going to write a function here, def um, add one, and we're going to pass in some list, right? So some list, I could modify this. I could say uh, some list, and I'll do this just to demonstrate dumb li uh, some list dot pop, and that should pop off the last element. Now, this is a complete function, and if I call it, if I call add one on LST, and then I print LST, let's see what that does. Notice we have modified the list, that input list, we've modified it in place, okay? Now, we want to be really conscious of doing this, like, do, do you want to do this, okay? That's an important question. So I'm going to just do the pop and then notice we're not returning anything. Now I'm going to return some list and let's see what we get. And notice it's still modifying, right? It's dropping off that seven and we're still getting back this list in print LST. Now uh, I could throw a print around this, print had one LST, and that's going to return to the print function the list that we modified. But we're still modifying in place. That may or may not be what you want to do. Do you want to modify using a function? Do you want to modify the thing that you pass in? And in general, what I'm going to recommend is don't do that. Okay. Instead, make a copy of the list. Okay. So we do that. We can do that with the, I'll name this something else. I'll name this another list. I'll name it list copy. How about that? List copy is going to get some list dot copy. Okay. That's it. That's it. Super straightforward. And if I run this now, Notice we are not modifying, oh, I'm still returning some list. Let me return to li the list copy. That's what we actually want to return. Now, oh, <laughs> I didn't pop anything off of it. I didn't modify it at all. So let, let's just pop off a value. And there we go. So in this case, we're returning from the add one function, we're returning a different list, right? It's a different list. We're not modif and we're also not modifying the list in place. So what happens if I take off this dot copy method? If I take off the dot copy method, well, notice we are still modifying it. Even though we're calling dot pop on list copy and not some list, it turns out that list copy and some list are actually the same object. It's just two different names pointing to the same object in memory. So we, we're not really doing anything there. Um, so dot copy is a method that we can use to copy in this instance. And in any instance, right? We can, uh, we can copy lists, we can copy dictionaries, tuples. Uh, dot copy is going to come up a lot in your, in your writing of code because often you do not want to copy the original object, okay? The other way you can do this with a list, uh, this is my preferred way, is using a slice and just slicing the entire thing off. Um, I know I named this function add one. I was going to add one, but then that takes four loops and blah, blah, blah. So uh, I decided not to do that. But this is a, hopefully, uh, an understandable explanation of why you want to use dot copy, okay? Also, why you may or may not want to modify the argument or modify the parameter of the function, right? The argument that you pass in or, you know, the parameter of the function. You may or may not want to modify that. I recommend that you don't. 
I recommend that you make a copy and you modify that copy, then return the copy so that you distinctly know the difference between uh, the operations performed on the original input and the copy that you've made of that original input.